How's it going everybody, Dato Joy here, and in today's Dragon Ball Fighters video, we're going to be taking a look at two tier lists from two very good pro players, one being Leffen and the other being Kazunoko, who of course just won CEO with a big win while having Yamcha on his team. Bravo to that man. Uh, we are going to talk about Leffen's first, however, as he did make his on stream, so his commentary is readily available, so we don't have to make any guesses about why he put people where when we have his full commentary track. Uh, that, of course, is listed in the description down below. Before we start, though, the reason we're looking at these two tier lists together and not any others is because these two tier lists are very recent, both being from either yesterday or the day before. Um, so after CEO, which was the first world tour stop, I, I didn't want to take any information that's too old, so we're just going to stick with these two for now. If you know any other successful players that have put out a tier list recently, uh, please feel free to comment down below. I would love to take a look at them as well. For now though, like I said, it's just these two. Luckily for us, these two tier lists do share the same way in how they're listed. So on top, you have top tier. So the higher you are, the better you are overall. And on the bottom, you have low tier, uh, meaning the lower you are, the worse off you are in the game. And then to the left, we have people with bad support. So it's still possible to be up there and top tier, but not really have that good of a support for the team. And then over on the right, we have good support. And that is, you know, people with good assist. Also, like, can they give you double supers for your team? Do they have any touch of deaths with other members that they uniquely have to play a role in? You know, things like that. Uh, Leffen specifically said his list was a, not necessarily how good the character is, but more how likely you are to see them in a top tier team. Of course, it's a 3v3 game, so, you know, you can take that to mean like how top tier they are. It, it's really a matter of, are you going to be seeing these characters on teams winning tournaments? That's that's how I'm choosing to think about it personally. So we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up here on Leffen's tier list. Uh, let's just go ahead and get the elephant out of the room. Beerus is clocking in way at the bottom, totally out of league with everybody else. And um, while that may surprise some of you, it certainly doesn't surprise me. I kind of want to make a standalone video on Beerus and what's so wrong with him, so I won't go too into detail. But um, let's just sum it up with bad normals. Uh, doesn't bring anything unique to the team, uh, usually with support. That's why he's kind of, you know, on this side. Uh, his support isn't as bad as some of the others, like Krillin and Android 18, for example. Or uh, Vegeta Blue, who I also find has a really bad assist. But, you know, Beerus doesn't do anything special, so is going to get relegated to the bottom here. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to Kazunoko. You'll see that, uh, oof, almost point for point. Kazunoko did give him a little more credit on the assist, but... Not enough to push him over the edge. So, yeah, Beerus takes the first beating. Uh, I guess we'll switch over to Kazunoku here as well, because Frieza is also sharing a, you know, similar fate to Beerus. Actually, even worse. Really, I don't see this personally. I don't think Frieza's that bad. I mean, he's certainly not great. Don't get me wrong, but I don't I don't know. I don't think Frieza's that bad. I wish Kazunoku did have commentary with this. I don't think he does. All we have on this one is uh, his pure word. Uh, Frieza is, of course, not that great, but I don't know. That bad seems like a little bit of a stress. Leffen has him a little higher. Still on the bad side of support things, but a little and a little higher up as well, which is a position that I, I find myself agreeing with a little more. Another character on these lists that shares a similar spot is Nappa, and that is because Nappa comes in a little bit on the worst side of bad supports, also is not the greatest on his own. And uh, really this is because Nappa's assist is you know pretty basic, just a small explosion on the ground. And uh, really Nappa doesn't become a scary character until he has the Cybermen on the field, and even then I feel like there are other <laughs> there are other characters scarier than that anyway. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely a bit sad to see Nappa here because he is super unique, uh, but his gimmick just, um, it's hard to get off on his own, and um, yeah, even when he does, it's not too, too scary. Back on left-hand side of things, we have Team Gohan uh, with even worse support than Nappa, and I can definitely see it, you know, the Gohans aren't known for the best assist. Uh, it's more of a move that you want to use when they're out on the field, but even then, uh, Gohan does have a little more support than him because again uh, support doesn't only mean assist Gohan has multi he can do multiple double supers uh, as the person doing them so that de definitely Gohan does have a bit more um, variety here in terms of what he's able to do in tandem with his team moving a bit more quickly here we have Vegito just under the line of uh, top tier and bottom tier uh, Vegito uh, let's just go through all four of these on left and steer list really quick Vegito right under the bottom uh, not that great of support because yeah, I don't know I feel like he does have some double super setups. Uh, maybe Leffen doesn't value that as much because Vegito as a character uh, doesn't really come out and play that often. And that's mostly due to the fact that he really does lack mix-ups. And it's just something Vegito struggles with. Uh, they could easily change that uh, by giving him, you know, some moves that open up his opponent a little better. As of right now, when Vegito gets you on block, just hold down back and you should be fine. 
Hit, I'm not sure why Hit's this slow either. I don't recall him talking too much about Hit, but uh, yeah, I can definitely see Hit as a character that has fallen off recently, and his assist isn't really that great either. Uh, so uh, really, I don't I don't dismiss this opinion, but I just, uh, I, I kind of forget why he, he listed him here. Ginyu receives the treatment as well, but is a little bit more on the good support side, and Goku Blue is there as well. A little bit better on Goku Blue, uh, Vegeta Blue on Leffen's tier list. Uh, this was mostly due to him stating that Vegeta Blue has better mix-ups. And I could definitely see that Goku Blue uh, isn't really a mix-up kind of character. Vegeta is pseudo-tied with Broly. Vegeta almost pseudo-tied with Broly. Uh, again, he does have better support, I feel like. Um, also, I feel like Broly's just slept on a little. Uh, you definitely have a lot of room for growth with Broly there. Uh, and you could definitely pick up some uh, sly wins with him if they don't know what they're doing against him. Like we said, Frieza is a little higher on Leffen's tier list. Krillin... Of course, coming in the bad support list as somebody that plays Krillin, I obviously have to agree with this. Uh, Rock's not that great of an assist. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, but it's true. In a world of super-powered heroes and, you know, creatures and monsters, throwing rocks is not going to get you that far. Android 18, slightly above him. I definitely agree with this. A lot of block pressure. More things have been discovered with them. And then we have over to our right, we have Fuse Amasu, which was actually the first character left and put down on his tier list because uh, he was sort of in the middle for him. Uh, leaning towards the more good support side because... Uh, as uh, he stated, uh, the assist is almost just like a better 21 assist. But yeah, he definitely lacks other tools that 21 and, you know, characters above him have. So landing him here really isn't too bad. If anything, I definitely think Fuse Amasu was a bit slept on currently in the state of the game. I, I just, uh, that's just a gut feeling. I feel like there's definitely more to him than people know and can show off at the moment. Moving up into our next row of characters that almost share a certain row, uh, we have... Piccolo, Android 21, Majin Buu, and Trunks. This is actually crazy because a lot of people are giving Fat Buu a lot of credit that previously they weren't giving him. I think people are finally starting to just, uh, you know, admit to themselves, hey, the mix-ups with, with Buu and the setups are are things that can catch a player off guard. So, you know, he's getting his credit, which is nice. Uh, Piccolo, I do feel, is getting, um, I don't know. I feel like Piccolo is still a little slept on, uh, but it's really just Hook and God trying to show people uh, the way. Apology, man. I think his drop Piccolo. I, I'm actually not too sure on that. Uh, Trunks, of course, just a very standout character, kind of middle of the road, but very good nonetheless. Now, the really interesting side of the list for me is the good support category. Uh, again, doesn't just mean assists, so that's super important to pay attention to. Double supers also mean a lot here. So we got Vegeta, Goku Black, uh, regular Super Saiyan Goku, Yamcha, and Tien. Now, do remember that the higher they are, the more top tier they are. Tien has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of damaging double super setups actually insane leffen highly values that uh vegeta godlike assist um plays a valuable role in double super setups like i said uh goku black goku beam assist can undervalue that goku also double setup super is insane and then yamcha just man what an assist <laughs> and you know he has that he has that single super into a level three setup which i don't know if leffen was considering but i could definitely see that being another point to his good support status uh, no complaints here. I completely agree with what Levin has on these characters. I think he pinned them down nicely. Now, let's get into the top one, two, three, four, five, six characters. We got Gohan, Bardock, Android 16, and Gotenks. I think the top three people right here uh, have proven themselves to be mix-up heavy characters. Uh, really something high-level opponents value is opening up their opponent, uh, which is, you know, no doubt that's something very important that you want to have. And then we have Gohan in the back with a less good support. And it's just pretty obvious as to why. He does have so does have double supers making a little bit better than Gohan. Other than that, he's really not playing too much of a role with his assist and what he what else he brings to a team. Uh, usually just someone you want to have on point. Now we have our top two characters. Unquestionably, we have Cell and Kid Buu. This is also something you're going to see in Kazunoko's tier list. Cell and Kid Buu just popping off the tier list. <laughs> but yeah, Cell is lower than Kid Buu because Kid Buu sets up so many double supers. It's ridiculous. His human extinction attack is too good should have given that one to super boo kid boo did not need that but yeah sell he's not well not good enough on support his his standalone efforts are just more than enough to put him up there i don't think that's really a question in anybody's mind uh just man what an amazing character uh you got to appreciate it and kid boo i mean what's not to love mix-ups by himself he's got mix-ups by himself he brings a lot to a team uh all around just so 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 good gimmicks if you want to use them man kid boo is just really 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 good now another reason why i wanted to do both of these tier lists together is because of the, how different they really are uh you can see that while leffen like builds them up in layers other than uh beerus who just got kind of you know uh, let's not talk about that for too long <laughs> Everybody on Kazunoko really got the, the shaft here. Uh, you got Beerus and Frieza, like we talked about, just really sucking it up down there. <laughs> and then our next three components are Krillin, Nappa, and Goku Blue. 
talked about it a little bit before. Uh, but yeah, these characters, I don't know, Krillin's still being slept on a little, but uh, you know, it's fine. No, somebody has to prove that Krillin can hang. Uh, until then, you can't really argue with the results. And then over on the good support side, very interesting to me that um, he values Zamasu's uh, support a lot more than uh, others, which is, I don't know. That to me is very interesting. I don't know how, you know, the, the placings on this is always a little off because people put characters and then, you know, they might change their mind a little later. Uh, but what this says to me is that on the support aspect of it, Zamasu is a little bit more valuable than uh, Gotenks. Of course, he's not better than Gotenks because, you know, top tier, low tier. Uh, but still, interesting that he values Zamasu's uh, role on a team that much. Of course, Yamcha, even though he won with Yamcha, is he just gets the good support medal. You know, you can stay down there mid-tier. Uh, not even mid-tier, because more than half the cast is above, way above the line. So, what this illustrates to me is Kazunoku thinks this is a game that is very clustered in the top tier. Uh, I would actually be super interested in hearing his balance. Like, what? Like, how do you think they could balance the cast? Because this, to me, demonstrates he thinks most of them are pretty good. So, just maybe some minor nerfs, minor buffs. I think that would be a, a fun state to play the game in, for sure. Uh, but it's kind of a cluttered mess, so this one's going to be a little harder to go through. So let's just go really quickly. Tien, of course, being on the right side. Very good support. We talked about it all before. And everything pretty much goes for everybody. Again, you see Sal Kid Boo <laughs> way up here. Bardock. Look at how much support Bardock brings to the team on Kazunoko's list. I definitely agree with this more uh, than Leffen's because, I don't know, Bardock sets up a lot of touch of deaths. He has air supers if you need them, uh, and you can convert to him. So that mu that much is good. Yeah, other than that, I don't know why Bardock wasn't... Uh, I don't know if he should be this high, but I definitely think he shouldn't have been that low. Uh, so Kazunoko definitely values Bardock a lot. A lot more than Leffen. And uh, just everybody from Leffen's list has pretty, been, pretty much been moved over to the right. So Vegeta Blue, Android 18. Vegeta, oh yeah, let's talk about this. Let's talk about how, how high Vegito Blue is here. Uh, apparently Vegito Blue can kick it with Android... <laughs> Apparently, Vegito Blue can kick it with uh, Piccolo and Goku and Goku Black uh, in terms of just raw tier. Again, his support's pretty bad. You're going to want to play him on point, but still, very interesting nonetheless. I definitely want some, someone to pick up Vegito Blue and do well with him. Uh, that's just something that I super want to happen. Then you got, you know, let's go through these quickly as well. Piccolo, Android 21, Fat Boo, Ginyu, and Gotenks. Crazy, to, crazy, crazy, crazy to see Ginyu up this high. I guess the raw pressure on neutral and just the ability to completely turn the game around with body swap are things that Kazunoko probably values very highly. And then up here in our cluster, we have the top, top tier. Uh, you can kind of see them in, in, a, in a circle. Cell, Adult Gohan, Vegeta, Trunks, Goku, Android 16, Bardock, Kid Buu. Very interesting to see them all like circle around here. I definitely agree Goku has has some seriously good support. Every time I move my mass over Ginyu, I just, I can't believe he's that high. Um, so some things to look forward to for the future of Dragon Ball Fighters. This is the tier list. This is the genuine opinion. I feel like if you mix both of these together, of course, everybody's going to have their own uh, take on things here, but uh, you can kind of see the overrunning themes in these two tier lists if you just kind of, you know, take the average of them. Uh, so basically, if we're looking at, if you want to look at a patch, uh, maybe, I think people want Beerus to be get, get looked at. Also, another thing to remember that Sonic Fox does have a new team with Fuse Amasu on, so expect to see that one rise up in popularity quite a bunch. Really crazy to see all these tier lists come out, uh, that so the game is only going to progress more. Maybe we'll talk about how the meta has progressed so far, uh, but with the World Tour just kicking off, it's a great time to see what people are thinking about these characters because uh, we might get a balance patch after Evo or even before if they're feeling uh, a little spicy. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on these tier lists down below in the comments. I'll be down there as always. While you're down there, if you like this video and want to see more like this from the channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'm Dr. Doya. I'll see you in the next video.